blah, blah, blah. I line it up, pass it up, whatever to the left. Woohoo! It's okay if you don't know what that is. So, I'm just that cool. Said nobody ever about me. Because if somebody says, well, my nose is itching. Just want your extra time and your kiss. Hey y'all, welcome to today's Authentic Selling TV. You are in the right place if you were looking to increase your results, revenue, and raving fans, ick free for your modern business. All right, so I told y'all I'm kind of shaking in my boots to be this honest, uh, and I really am. I am sick at my stomach, but you can't run a business and a brand called Authentic Selling and be afraid to share the scary stuff. So let's jump in, let's do this. I mentioned a few years ago, I read an article about LeBron James and the amount of money that it took or that he invested to maintain his body at a, at a level of excellence. And I remember thinking, well, of course, LeBron James spends 1.5 million or whatever it is estimated to maintain his body. That is his vehicle, that is his passion, that is the way he does what he, what he loves. And then recently, Elise and I, my friend Elise and I were talking about uh, the, the toll that running these businesses for nearly a decade have taken on our bodies. And we both agreed we are in the season of buying back our health. Now, full disclosure, I probably didn't make some of the best decisions about my health when I started this business. I was extremely driven. I had insane quotas like a million by 40, no matter what the cost, I worked ridiculous hours. So I wasn't really good with balance. And that does take a toll on your body. But also, it's, it's, you know, being in this industry can take a toll on your mindset. Because let's face it, you're not everybody's favorite person. There are plenty of people out there who can't stand the thought of me. And you got to learn how to manage the haters. You got to learn how to manage your mindset. You got to learn how to uh, handle when things go completely upside down. So this is how I have managed all of that in 2020. I've got some numbers over here on my computer that I'm going to share with you. So I spent in 2020 $25,000 on life coaching. Why life coaching? Because I needed some mindset work because I was getting in my own way. Because every time I would sit down to start a new project, I would find myself saying, yeah, but, yeah, but. And anytime I catch myself saying, yeah, but, I know I am heading into what I call a belief gap. Yeah, but they can do this because, yeah, but, yeah, but, I can't. So I needed some mindset work. And to be completely honest with you, I just wasn't as happy and fulfilled as I wanted to be. I mean, the grind of doing this over and over, I love my job and I'm super grateful, but I wanted to be happier. I wanted to feel more fulfilled. That's why I left my corporate job. So I hired a life coach. The second thing I did was I invested $24,000 on energy coaching. So I have worked with Najee Candola for years, probably about eight years, and she has helped me heal all kinds of things that I didn't know I needed to heal. Well, 2020 was a hard year. So after our first launch of Authentic Selling University, this year, I just melted. I fell apart. For some of you may remember we launched in the middle of a pandemic. It was extremely hard for me. It was extremely challenging. And there were days when I couldn't get out of bed afterwards. Not fun to admit, but it's true. Navjeet helped me through all of that and is working to help me uh, maintain an energy level that attracts people who are ready to hear this message about selling and also keeps me happy and fulfilled at home. The next thing I invested on is about, and this is an estimate, the other two are, are solid, $10,000 in medical appointments, massages, facials, um, supplements, all of the things that it takes to get the physical body and have the physical body continue to run. I am pretty dedicated to getting regular massages and to supplements and to uh, seeing the doctor regularly and all those things. If you're keeping a total, we're, we're over 50K and we're not done. The last big investment I made this year to keep this business going was $50,000 in strategy. Uh, and, and I think that this is a really important thing to share. We've, we've reached the, the, the max of, of, of what my business brain can do. 
We need some new strategies. We need some new ideas. This business is super successful, but I, I want it to continue to be successful. I want to hit $10 million in sales. I want to continue to reach more people because I think that that is my mission on the planet outside of raising Haliana. And so I needed some upper level strategies that I just don't have because I haven't had to do it yet. You know, I've, it's interesting because when I entered this industry, I knew how to sell. I knew how to sell. I had spent 20 years of my life mastering how to sell, but I didn't know how to run a business. And so I invested $100,000 in getting an online business education about how to run a business. And now it's time to re-up there and learn next level strategies, whatever those are. So if you're keeping a grand total, this year alone, I've spent $109,000 to keep this vessel and this business working and moving in the direction I want it to move. Now, I know some of you may be sitting here and saying, I don't have that kind of money. I understand. I didn't either when I started. But you can absolutely make time to work on your mindset every day, to work on your energy every day, to take advantage of free opportunities from people so that your vessel doesn't get quite as run down as mine and you have to buy back your health. The other thing I, I, would, I would love to point out here is that everybody, everybody reaches the point where they need a different set of eyeballs on what they're doing. You know, no matter what your goals are to make $1,000 a month or to make $100,000 a month, that is not something that most of us are born knowing how to do. There are times, as scary as it can feel, when you need someone's expert strategy to come into your business. People do this all the time. And so don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Don't be afraid to invest in the vessel. You know, if, if, if my energy is off, if I'm feeling poorly, if I am having limiting beliefs like, um, you're a failure, you're a fraud, those are some of my personal favorites, then I can't show up for you the way I need to. So I feel it is my obligation to make sure that I take care of me, that I take care of this vessel, that I take care of this mind and this body so that I can do the work I was put on earth to do. So there you have it. The often excelling TV that scares the living daylights out of me because I don't like sharing these type of numbers, but it's real, it's true, and it's authentic. Tell me something in the comments. Tell me something that you've invested in, you don't have to share numbers, that helps you maintain the vessel, maintain the body, maintain the mindset, or maybe even get the strategy that you need to take your business where you want it to go. Happy Halloween month, y'all. Stick around. It is going to be a spooky ride this October. I believe in you and I believe in your business.